Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Zenmuse X-T2 from DJI, with thermal by our friends at FLIR. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Now the X-T2 is designed specifically to work with the new DJI Pilot app, but that's only available in a beta version right now, so not all of the functions have been implemented. Today we'll go ahead and take a look at the basic functions of the camera, which aren't going to change any. Then. As the new features come online, we'll be back with another video to take a look at those. Now to begin with, the X-T2 is what the military industrial complex calls an EO IR camera, meaning it's electro-optical infrared. That really means it's two cameras in one, visible light and thermal, and it can even combine the two using FLIR's patented MSX technology. The X-T2 captures high resolution imagery with a 4K visible light sensor and a 640 by 512 pixel thermal sensor. The X-T2 is only compatible with the M200 and M600 series aircraft from DJI. So don't expect it to work with your Inspire or your M100. The camera itself is mounted on a three axis gimbal. And as you'd expect from DJI, it does an outstanding job of image stabilization. There are two micro SD cards for recording data and images under this rubber seal on the top of the camera body. Like the M200, the X-T2 is environmentally sealed, meaning it can operate in all weather, and it meets the IP44 standard. When mounting the camera, remember that red to white is open and red to red is locked. The DJI Pilot app will be familiar if you've ever used either version of DJI Go. All of the basic elements of the interface are the same. The key difference are these controls overlaid across the image. FFC stands for Flat Field Correction, which can help clean up the thermal image if it begins to accumulate noise over time. In its default configuration, the camera will periodically conduct an FFC on its own, which freezes the thermal image for a moment. Next is the zoom control, but bear in mind that this is a digital zoom. All you're really doing is throwing out data, denying yourself access to pixels you would otherwise be recording, so I'd suggest using this sparingly. Next is a tool that lets you measure the temperatures in the frame. The crosshairs give you the temperature at any point in the camera's field of view, just by tapping on the touchscreen. The area tool finds the high and low temperatures inside a box that you specify, and designates them with a red and blue dot respectively. It will track them even if the aircraft moves, until they are no longer inside the bounding box or something that is hotter or colder appears in the frame. Now keep in mind there are a lot of factors ranging from atmospheric temperature and humidity to the thermal emissivity of the target that can affect the accuracy of this reading. You'll want to study up on thermography before you trust these results completely. This control lets you configure the display, visible light, picture in picture, or thermal using MSX. MSX runs an edge detection algorithm on the visible light image and superimposes those edges on the thermal image, which makes it easier to recognize objects than if you're looking at the thermal image alone. You can choose how strong you want the MSX details to be, or you can turn it off altogether. You can also adjust the pixel offset using these controls so that they line up correctly with the thermal image. However, owing to parallax between the two cameras, this will change when you fly at different altitudes. The menu button in the upper right hand corner gives you access to additional camera settings, including color palettes, which allow you to determine how warmer and colder temperatures will be represented by the camera. So that's our first look at the X-T2 from DJI, with thermal by our friends at FLIR. 
To keep up with the latest on drones and see the advanced features on the X-T2 as they come online, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.